Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to talk about complex filleting. In some cases, you just want to create a fillet the way you want to create a fillet. So with Top Solid 7 for 2016, we've made a pretty cool improvement to filleting. Now, if you're an avid Top Solid user, you already know that Top Solid is awesome at fillets. Well, it's possible we just became even more awesome. Check it out. To begin with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide a face. And to use or to do this, I'm going to make it simple by using what we call a middle curve function. And what middle curve does is it does the heavy lifting for us to calculate the exact center line of something. Cool. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the middle curve that we just created, and I'm going to imprint it directly, pardon me, onto the face right there. And all that did was divide the face up. Now, here, here's where the fun happens. Now what I'm going to do is go to our face-to-face -face filleting command. I'm going to be on Fillet Between Faces, and I'll start by selecting that top face. Again, just to, uh, to reiterate, the arrow points to the side the fillet's going to go on. This is standard practice for face blending like this. Next, what I want to do is I want to select all of these faces. And I'm using my space mouse to rotate and everything. That's kind of nice. Uh, from there, I'm going to come down here, and instead of using a constant radius, I'm going to choose no radius. And that's not going to make any sense to most people because you kind of need a radius in order to apply a fillet. But check it out. I'm going to select this edge, and then the software is going to auto-calculate and put a fillet from that edge, tangent to this face, to the other faces, and it's going to auto-size the fillet so that it fits the geometry perfectly. I mean, think about how cool that is. I didn't have to think hard to get there. Next, I'm going to repeat this process. We'll do it on the inside, too, just for fun. And again, I'm just going to rotate around. I'm going to grab the faces that I need to grab. Make sure the arrow points to the good side. And then I'll use that same edge as before and check it out. Top Solid was able to put that blend in as well. We're tangent everywhere. And we have a pretty complex blend done without thinking too hard. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check back soon for more.